Let's start with our engine here and we'll start on the left hand side. The panel has been removed so that we can have easy access to this, but we have a 23 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Vanguard engine. It is a very reliable engine as long as we do our maintenance on it. You should get many years of life out of this engine. We have our spark plug, we have our oil filter, we have our oil cooler. On the top side here we have our air filter very easy to get to, two, two snaps and it comes right off, very accessible. On this side of the engine we have our dipstick, very, again very accessible. Here's our fill cap right here for our oil and we have our inline fuel filter. The Hydromaster machines have two filters, the one here on the machine, there's also going to be one under your van from the fuel tap kit up to the machine. When you're checking these, oil, these gas filters, be sure to check both and make sure that they're clean. The oil that we use in this engine is a 5W30 detergent oil and uh, you're going to use approximately a quart and a half on an oil change. Anytime you change the oil, it's highly recommended that you change the oil filter at the same time. While we're here talking about the engine, I'd like to uh, mention some of the things as far as the maintenance is concerned on this and what we'd like you to do um, as you're using your machine. If you have a brand new machine, um, within the first 25 hours, change the oil completely, change the filter completely, and that'll get you started. After that, we recommend that you change the oil every 50 hours. Going back to our hour meter, that's why it's important. Every 50 hours you need to change these. These are high use industrial machines. It's not like your car. We do need to make sure that we keep these oils changed uh, um, on a regular basis. Anytime you change the oil, let's make sure to change that oil filter. So on a daily basis, let's look at our oil level. Make sure that our oil is fine. Check for leaks, check for any drips, check for anything like that. Let's check our belt, let's check our um, hoses. Make sure everything is fine on that part. If you notice anything loose or if there's any rattles that you hear, let's tighten down any nuts and bolts that may be loose. On a weekly basis, we're going to go through again and we're going to look at the belts, look at the hoses and wiring, and we want to repair them or replace them as needed. Um, on a monthly basis, let's check the engine air filter up here. Let's clean it as needed. Um, on a three month basis, go through and check the fuel lines. That's when we're going to look at the filters that I discussed a little bit earlier. Let's make sure if we need to, to get new filters in line both here on the engine and maybe down below on the fuel tap. We want to check our spark plug wires, look for cracking, look for anything that may be out of whack there. Um, if you do need to clean the plugs, let's pull the plugs, let's get the carbon off and make sure that the gap remains at three thousandths. As far as a thousand hours is concerned, every thousand hours we're going to change the air filter. Let's get a new air filter and get started there so we're starting with a, a good breathing system on the machine.